if you get a uh, certain type of kidney transplant, does that put you at increased risk of coming back to the hospital within the first year or the first two years after your transplant? There's a standard criteria donor kidney and there's an extended criteria donor kidney. And the extended criteria donor kidneys come from patients who were older before they died and their kidney was donated, or they had hypertension, or they had a cause of death that was related to a stroke or they had a certain lab value, uh, which is the creatinine, which is how we measure kidney function. If you have a kidney that comes from that type of person, um, we know that you're less likely to have that kidney survive for a long time, and that can affect overall patient survival, but we didn't know yet whether that was gonna cause you to come back to the hospital or not, and we thought that was really important. When you adjust for all the problems that the patients had before they came in, um, and you adjust for other things that could affect the graft quality, such as like how the surgery was done or how long it took to get the kidney from the donor to the recipient, you find that there's still an independent effect of the kidney quality on that patient coming back to the hospital. So you're, you're going to come back to the hospital more often if you get an extended criteria, criteria donor kidney. So patients need to know this because it has indications on their life. You know, the waitlist time is shorter for an extended criteria donor kidney, so if you've been waiting on the list a long time, you might want to take it, but you need to know what you're getting into. So that's why it's important to study. We wanted to look at patients who had been taking aspirin and Plavix to antiplatelet agents and whether or not they had any increased rate of blood transfusions or complications um, getting a kidney transplant. A lot of institutions won't allow these patients on the waiting list, so as a result they can't have um, access to these organs, unfortunately. What we found is that there wasn't a significant increase in the risk of blood transfusion or any secondary outcomes such as death, organ failure, rejection, um, length of stay, um, compared to patients who weren't on aspirin or aspirin and Plavix. What it suggests is that these patients should be able to be on these uh, organ waiting lists while taking these medications that they might need to be on.